what's up guys and welcome back to my channel my name is priscilla i'm a nigerian women's wear designer based in london in this video i'm going to be unboxing a new sewing machine i just got and i'm so excited because it's literally the smallest sewing machine i have ever seen in my entire life and it's by a company called singer so i got this machine on amazon for about 19 pounds and 54 pence i got free shipping because i use prime and i'm going to be showing you guys what the machine looked like as well as test it out on two layers of fabric four layers of fabric just to see if it's a good investment or if it's just a waste of coin i got this machine because i thought it would be a great way to stitch on my brand labels on clothes i make for clients and it's quite well at least from what i saw online like the marketing video it looked like quite handy and easy to use if you guys would like to see if it works at all then keep on watching So this is what the box looks like. It looks really small in terms of size. And on the back, it says pre-threaded and ready to use, portable, compact, and lightweight. It feels really, really lightweight. And from the pictures I can see on the box, it just looks like a big stapler that just happens to sew. So let's just open it and see if it's any good. I'm just going to be very careful while opening it because if it's no good, I will just return it. Money cannot be wasted. So it comes with an instruction manual here. Let's just put that to the side and opens up like so. In there sits the mini hand sewing machine and it comes with some spare parts. So these are three metal bobbins, three machine needles, um, I don't know what this plastic thing is for and that looks like a thread that comes with five extra um, spare parts So let's open the actual actual hand sewing machine And this is what it looks like actually let me bring you guys a bit a bit closer so you can see all of the goodness in here <laughs> So this is what it looks like up close. It is white and red plastic with metal screws here and there I think there's a, uh, um, what they call this thing? <laughs> so there is a battery compartment here for four batteries. I think that's how it works. Battery operated. It comes with a bobbing on the side from what I can see. So it comes with a needle there or it already looks like it's threaded. It comes with like um, a piece of fabric which shows a little bit of stitch. So I guess that's your way of saying that it's ready to use. All I have to do is put some batteries in here so it actually comes on. So from the weight, it's actually really light. In terms of functionality, I guess there's one way to find out. We just have to put in batteries and check if this thing works. So tiny, it's literally the size of my hand. That's, that's incredible, man. So you will need four batteries to use this machine and I've gotten the Duracell Ultra Power one in this size. I don't know how you sort of call the sizes but this is not the thin battery, this is the normal fat, fat battery and I'm just putting them in. Wow. So just so you know, closing of the battery compartment is not very easy, just you have, there's a little bit of fiddling in there so just be patient. So you don't end up breaking this um cover for the battery compartment why is it on and off button oh god it actually came on <gasps> okay whoa <laughs> so if you push this button on top in that direction it actually starts to sew So this is the knob you used to control the in and out of the the in and out movement of the needle here. So if you rotate this knob, the needle moves up and down. So if you pull, if you turn the knob away from you, the needle comes out. So I have gotten some linen fabric, and this is just two layers here. And I'm actually going to test out with this material to see how well it stitches. So I'm going to pull up the footer like so. Then I'm going to place the material underneath. I am going to sew now. So I'm going to push the button towards me. So that's what the stitch looks like. 
it's quite tight I think you adjust the tension from this tiny knob here looks, looks decent oh that's interesting look at the back stitch it does it looks really interesting it looks like um, loops kind of it's actually quite nice I've put in the four layers and I'm going to stitch on to see if it works That worked. Oh, surprising. I did the looping back stitch as well. Stitched on all four layers. Layer one, layer two, layer three, layer four. Should we do eight? Let's do eight. Let me turn this thing inside. So I have doubled up the four layers and I've made eight, as you can see here. And I'm actually going to <laughs> just try myself and make them stitch. Yeah. Wow, that actually stitched up the four layers. Stitch it up nice and tight. The back is just as cool as the looping, looping stitch. That's the back of the stitch. It is really cool. That's a really nice stitch. And then the front is just a normal, normal straight stitch. So next up, I'm going to be trying with some thick, stiff denim and I have two layers which I'm actually going to be folding in half to make it four layers and I'm going to test with this thing to see if it works at all so I'm going to pull up the footer like so putting it on my shoulder just makes it a bit bearable Is struggling now. It just stopped working. I don't know what I did though. It's stuck. I don't know, but it's, I find that it's stuck. I'm pushing it forward. I'm pushing it forward and it's not working. Is the battery dead already? Uh, that went well up until now. It literally see I push it so when you when it goes forward it's supposed to sew but if you push it forward like this it just stitches for like three stitches and then it stops maybe the, mat the material is too thick but it just stops my final thought so everything was going well up until I used the denim material I don't know if it was too thick or if the battery died I can't really tell what's wrong with it right now but it would stitch for about two or three stitches and then it would stop I, I honestly don't know why it's behaving that way but aside that it actually is a pleasant surprise and it's really lightweight and it's something that would be so great for imagine if you have a fashion show and you just need like a handy machine to just quickly do last minute repairs this would be a really really good thing to have in hand but with the way it just behaved now, I don't even know if it's trustworthy. So I love that. I love the idea. I love the concept. I love what they're trying to do. And it's really simple and straightforward to use. Everything already came threaded. So you don't even have to think about threading the machine. But I don't know. Hmm. I have very mixed feelings about this very mixed feelings but anyways i'm going to leave a link to the product down below maybe if you guys set this out for yourself or if you use a thinner material if you go more gentle than i did it might work for you i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video it's just something that i thought would be useful and would be like a nice addition to my collection of machines but right now i have very mixed feelings and i think i might end up returning it because i don't know <laughs> I'm gonna sit down now. If you did enjoy watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you'd like me to review more machines and sewing tools, comment them down below. What would you like me to review or try out next? Leave all of your suggestions, questions, and ideas as well. And until my next video, stay creative. I always say that because I think being creative is just a new way to express yourself. Not new, it's a fun way to express yourself. So stay creative and have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye loves!